Pi Network has announced we'll be going open mainnet this year, 2024. So if you've been mining Pi, waiting for the time to sell and cash out, it might just be around the corner. But there are three conditions that need to be met before the open mainnet. I went to the Pi block section and read everything. So let's discuss it. Condition one is that the open mainnet preparation with regards to technology, products, business, and legal needs to be completed. The work for this condition one is to be done solely by the Pi Network core team. And they have stated that they are in line to complete the obligation here. If you go to Pi Network V2 roadmap, you will see some of their progress there. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, what is condition two? Condition two is the achievement of these three goals. One is KYC. 15 million pioneers should have passed KYC, both fully KYC and tentatively KYC. Two is migration. 10 million pioneers should have migrated to mainnet. And three is utility. 100 apps should be on the mainnet or mainnet ready, comply with Pi platform policy, solve true needs, that is bringing utility to the Pi network ecosystem and should be a unique app, not a copycat. For reference, 8 million pioneers have already completed goal one, that is the KYC. 3.9 million have migrated and 40 real apps have met the conditions of goal number three. So you can see that this condition two can be achieved, but it solely depends on the effort of the community. Look at it this way. There are over 47 million pioneers. If you have not been KYC'd, then get yourself KYC'd. I know that some persons here have been waiting to get KYC'd. The Pi team released a blog post this year on how they have improved the efficiency of the KYC. So if you have not yet been KYC'd, tap the KYC tab on the Pi browser and follow the process. If you have been KYC'd already, then do this two things. One is tap on mainnet, click on increase transferable balance and click ping members to notify those in your security circle to complete KYC. The second thing you should do is that you should migrate to mainnet if you have been fully KYC'd. And if you are a developer built on Pi Network, there are potentially 47 million pioneers that could be your customer. Now, let's get to condition number three absence of a favorable external condition. This include macroeconomic crisis, unfavorable legal or regulatory development, industries uncertainties, war or any number of unpredictable, uncontrollable and or unforeseeable external factors. The thing is that Pi wants to launch at the best time possible that will enable the token to blossom. If you look at the crypto industry in general, projects that launch in the bear season perform poorly, be it a very good project or a bad project. And conversely, projects launch in the pre bull season or in the bull season performs really well. Pi Network has been building since 2018 and pioneers have been mining since 2019. So it is pertinent that Pi goes mainnet at the most optimally favorable time. Now, let's put this all together. For condition one, this is being handled by the Pi Core team. Um, they say they are on track, so condition one will not be an hindrance to Pi going mainnet this year. For condition three, 2024 is right for project launches, and many crypto projects are launching already. And guys, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I give updates on very good projects. One is coming this very week. Going forward, so the unfavorable crypto orders have been surmounted. FTS is behind us, CZ case is over, Bitcoin ETF is approved, the Quan has been arrested, and we are out of the bear season. Condition two is what could delay Pi Network going live this year. And it depends on you and me, the pioneers. So do what is needful. Make sure you get KYC and get orders to get KYC and migrate to mainnet. Guys, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.